What is up everyone? Welcome to Day Deal on Display. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Sidio Active Combo Case for the HTC Droid DNA Phone. You're more than welcome to check out the Active Combo Case at any time over at its official website using the link provided in the YouTube description box. And we've also linked you guys there as well to our own site over at daydeal.com. We've taken the liberty of measuring the case as well as its holster as well, so feel free to use those dimensions as you will. We hope you find all that information useful as well as convenient. So moving forward, let's go and talk about the active combo case in detail. I do want to say that we've done our best to uh, go ahead and find out if this case is uh, compatible with a wireless charger and unfortunately since we don't have one of our own we've have to do our research on our own using external sources and due to the uh, good work of some folks out there and uh, people who already own the case they do say that yes it is compatible with the wireless charger okay as long as you use the case on the phone and not the holster with it as well because the holster does create some extra gap and that will go ahead and throw the charger off so that is some useful information right up front if that's all you really care about and that's all I will say about that. So moving on to the color options that the Active Combo is available in. There are five in total. And we actually have all five in today's video. Starting on the left-hand side, that is going to be Amethyst, a.k.a. Purple. In the center is the lovely Garnet Red, uh, which of course is red. To the right of that is going to be Royal Blue, and that name is self-explanatory. And the color that we have in front of us right now is Black. This is the most universal color, the most common offering. You can actually probably find the best deals on this color. Uh, Conversely, this is the rare color that we will be showcasing on the uh, Droid DNA dummy in just a moment. This is glossed white. It is the only color that has a reflective finish on it, whereas all the other colors have a matte rubberized finish on them. So those do not reflect light. Uh, this particular color does. So moving from that, let's go ahead and uh, show you the case up close and personal, what it is all about. For those of you who are not familiar with the Sadio Active line of cases from the company. Now this has been around for quite some time. It is available for a lot of different uh, cell phones as well as electronic devices. It is a dual layered case. It comprises a silicone skin as well as a polycarbonate shell. They work together. They do not work separately. Okay, The skin is a little bit loose on the phone. That's what the shell is supposed to do. It helps uh, keep the skin on the phone and reinforce it. And also the shell itself is a little bit on the big side. So that means that uh, if you try to use it by itself on the phone, it will not fit properly. Now on this version of the Active, there is actually a metal uh, kickstand that is attached to it which is kind of cool let me go and pop that out to show you what it looks like it has a small little magnetic uh, attachment to it which actually allows you to stay closed but keep in mind it is still a little bit on the loose side so that may be problematic uh, if you are not careful I also want to mention that this kickstand is meant for occasional use casual use but not for the people who really need a kickstand all the time if that is uh, who you are you might want to look it into a different product altogether because uh, this kickstand uh, cannot really take that much punishment where there are other cases out there with a dedicated kickstand which can take a lot of abuse and the only thing that comes to my mind is the Autobox Defense Okay. So this also comes with a holster. This is the combo version after all. I do want to say that if you uh, happen to own the active case by itself or only find it by itself in your local area, you're more than welcome to buy this afterward. They do sell it separately, but if you buy the combo first, it will come with it and it will save you a couple bucks from the get-go. Okay, so just a little bit of a uh, forewarning. I will be uh, showcasing this a little bit later in the video, but let's go ahead and put this on our dummy phone right now and then give you a 360 tour. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the skin layer first which is pretty easy to install. No surprises there. That's how the skin looks like. I do want to take this moment to let you guys know that unfortunately this is an older grade of silicone. It is very lint uh, prone, meaning that it will attract lint very easily. And if you try to clean it, it only makes it worse. So if you're very OCD about lint, this is definitely not the case for you. It has exaggerated sides that you see right there, which actually provide extra grip, which is always a nice thing. And also some aesthetic appeal because it does kind of look uh, kind of cool. It sticks out from the edges of the polycarbonate shell itself. Speaking of which, the shell is very easy to install. If you know how, just go and put the skin on the phone first, put it face down like so, just go and slam it down like so on the back and then you are good to go. That is how the active installs very quickly and very easily on the phone. And then let's go and continue on with the 360 tour. On the front of the uh, Droid DNA, you notice the lip that is created from the active is very thick and even. Okay, that is a good thing because it means if you happen to accidentally drop your phone on its face like so, that very thick lip around the edges hopefully should catch the impact first. It's not guaranteed, but chances are it will go ahead and catch that, which is always a good thing. As far as comfort goes, it will provide some space in between your face as well as the, uh, I think this is the earpiece. I think they call it the uh, ear set or whatever. I, I can't not remember for the life of me that name right now. Uh, against your ear where you're talking, you need to hear stuff. 
uh, when people are uh, basically on a conversation. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Just kind of keep that in mind. You want to keep this area as clean as possible because uh, it is going to be up against your face pretty much for the majority of when you're using the Cedio Active. All right. Moving on to the top, we have an opening for the audio jack. Let me go and zoom in there. There we go. That's a lot better. As well as the uh, microphone opening. And the covering for the button, uh, the power button, I should say, is a little bit on the soft side, so it's not as clicky or responsive as we would like it, but it does register on the phone, as well as the same thing can be said on the volume up and down buttons. Okay, kind of squishy to the touch, not clicky, but they still register just fine. Moving on to the bottom, we have a, a unique design. As you know, the DNA has a uh, covering on its USB door, so this is a little bit awkward. You will have to kind of reach into that opening and then pull the dust cover out to access the USB port, but it is what it is. It also is unfortunately a little bit on the loose side, but that is the way these cases are always designed because they do have to have that opening, and there is the opening for the microphone on the bottom, speaking of which. We went to the back of the uh, case. You see the opening for the uh, speaker. Okay, there is no mesh over that, so that is fully exposed. There is the kickstand. This only works in landscape orientation only, so please keep that in mind. If you try to use it in portrait, it will fail. It's just going to go and fall right down. But if you go and use it on landscape, it should be just fine. And that's how it's supposed to look like. Let's go and close that shut. Show you the opening on the back for the camera lens and the LED flash. No surprises there. I believe that is the rear-facing microphone on the Droid DNA. I could be wrong. But that is what that opening is for. Let's go and move on to the belt clip holster. Now, this is a face-in design only, so please keep that in mind. It is not face-out, face-in only. There's a thin layer of microfiber on the actual holster itself that is supposed to be rubbed up against your screen, so that way it keeps it nice and clean. It also doesn't uh, have your screen rubbing up against the hard plastic finish on the holster itself, so it doesn't get scratched up. Okay. This is a claw-type holster, meaning that uh, it uses that little claw on the top to go ahead and restrain the phone in place. It's not our favorite design in the world. Uh, reasons being is that if you happen to put your phone in the holster like so and then you are rubbing up against someone or the wall by accident, there is a uh, tendency to go ahead and keep that claw loose and that can be problematic for your phone in the holster itself. So it's actually not 100% secure, okay? You have to take it as it is. That's the way they designed it. Just be mindful of that when you're traveling with the holster in place. The belt clip on the back is fully rotatable, 180 degrees, I should say, meaning 90 to the left as well as 90 to the right and there are small little uh, ratchet increments uh, in between but it's not a full 360 holster and you don't really need it to be to be honest with you because most folks either have it vertical like so or horizontal pushing back the clip you can see that that is a spring hinge okay it's not a newer design from Sadio that we recently reviewed which has an all-metal hinge which is something we prefer but it is what it is and this is a polycarbonate bell clip at the end of the day so it is pretty sturdy stuff as long as you make sure that hinge is taken care of you don't want to abuse it too much and that is it, guys, for the uh, Cydio Active Combo Case for the HTC Droid DNA. Closing thoughts and comments. This is a pretty good utility case. It does come with a belt clip holster. It does come with a pretty sturdy case. It does provide pretty good protection for your Droid DNA phone. More importantly, it is compatible with the wireless chargers out there. So for those of you who are curious, yes, it does work with them. Uh, it's not the most exciting product out there, but unfortunately for the Droid DNA, we haven't really seen that many uh, releases for it because we have to say that the HTC One phone that is coming out has kind of taken all of the thunder away from the Droid DNA. Okay, This actually came out pretty recently, I believe November of 2012, so it's not really that old, but for whatever reason, uh, time marches on, progress moves on, and now the HTC One phone is kind of in the spotlight. So the Droid DNA is kind of taking a back seat, and cases are going to be kind of limited uh, in release uh, for this phone in the future. But uh, for what it is, it's available in five colors. We like the color options, as always, from Sadio. We like it that it's a utility case, and we like it that it's pretty competitively priced. Its main competitor has always been the OtterBox uh, line of cases. We would say this is more of a competitor to the OtterBox computer, not necessarily the Defender, even though this comes with a holster, because we would consider it a medium duty case. So take it as it is. Please check it out at the official website using the link provided in the YouTube description box as well as our own site at daydeal.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest board, as well as our YouTube channel as always. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next video review.